We're entering the heart of wildfire season and all those dangers that follow. In just a matter of weeks, monsoons will bring new worries in northern Arizona as well. Many communities left dealing with the flooding, especially those that are in the path of the museum fire burn scar. City of Flagstaff asking for a new measure to alert people who live there when flash floods are coming with a new siren system. Uh, we will have a set of siren arrays. There'll be four separate arrays throughout the wash, and it'll be an advanced notification. So very similar to the text message that a resident might receive or an alert, um, these sirens will, will activate at nearly the same time. Covering the neighborhoods for a year now, uh, the people living there asking for help, and are Nicole Gregg right there and on the ground once again tonight as neighbors are now starting to prepare for what's to come here. They've become a fixture. It's just an ugly reality that we all work around. Walls of sandbags are what Kim Kaler and her neighbors depend upon when flash flooding hits. We are planning for one, two and three inch storms. They know time is running out as monsoons are just weeks away. And if there is a monsoon this year, there will be flooding. Four flash floods turned Grandview Drive where families live into rivers last year. Now is when they have to prepare. Now it's largely frustration and exhaustion. But it's a helpless feeling for these neighbors trying to protect their home. We were just saying like I don't know if it's just been you know the stress of last year and you know just having such a hard year. There are at least 800,000 of these sandbags across the city of Flagstaff and experts tell me that these should be considered protection, not a solution. The city delivering new sandbags as the old ones are weathered, torn and are useless. They become a burden for people like Daniel McCray. Once, once you got them here, you're responsible for getting them out. You're not allowed to put them in your trash. The closest place that you can legally uh, dump them and I don't have a truck with which to take it is about a mile and a half from here. The spruce wash where the flooding comes down is a problem. I asked the public works director if any work has been done to help there. So there's been one section that's been widened out and uh, you know we're doing as much work as possible along the entire Spruce Avenue wash. But the reality is the culverts and the five to six foot drains in the city where the floods come aren't big enough. I'm told that the city needs a channel that's six to ten times larger. Daniel showing us his backyard where the floodwaters took this fence, moving the railroad ties. I asked him if he has questions for the city and officials. I think the city's said a lot of the right things. As far as the results, I haven't seen anything directly behind my house and behind my house was where the problem was. My entire back fence washed in. It's not just the flooding, he says, but fires too. The running joke around here is in June, you're gonna burn down, in July, you're gonna wash down. In Flagstaff, Nicole Grigg, ABC 15. Well, our goal is to help